everybody. Welcome back, TN Goes to 100. Tonight's game is The Designer's Curse, Chapter 1. Well, you know what I know about it, so let's jump in. I cut it out, but there is a, a little warning. It's like, oh, we accidentally made this game volume really low, so you better turn your headphones up really high. And I'm going to tell you right now, this game volume is not low. <laughs> the, the, I'm not falling for it, Dev. Oh, man. Press left mouse, left, left mouse button to interact with objects. Hold the mouse wheel to rotate. Scroll the mouse wheel to zoom in and out. I don't didn't even see what right smell. Right. <laughs> Walt, Walt, whoa. What? What? Uh. I'm just looking at my desktop right now. What the fuck is going on? It's recording the game. Uh. Where's the game? Uh. Oh, baby, hang on. Donkey. Let's try that again. Right mouse button to throw. Got it. So, okay. Um. Oh, no. You actually have to. When opening things, hold down the left mouse button while dragging in the direction with the mouse. Yeah, that's going to make this even scarier. Ooh. Hey. Pulley openy. Openy pulley. It moved. I thought I was going to need a code, but it moved. Pushy closey. Openy. Okay. The door is forced shut. Okay. Oh, wow. I got some ups. Locked crouch. Hide it. Hey, is anybody trying to sleep peacefully in here? To be honest. They're down there for a really long time. When they started to go insane, that's when Master decided to set up the entertainment room. I mean, I guess he isn't as cold as he seems. The whole point of it was so that he could lock the door to the entertainment room if anyone misbehaved as a sort of collective punishment. It was a strange room, weirdly out of place wallpaper, and that mysterious piano sitting at the end of the room for that crazy one. But hey, it's something they've got good books too. I'll keep you updated on my escape. It may be a little ambitious, however. I'm planning on watching Master enter the code into his study. When I see it, I'll be sure to leave a note somewhere in the entertainment room for you, if you dare to escape as well. Good luck. The outside world is not as he portrays it, I promise. Okay. Book. A book higher, higher. Hmm. Who's in it? Oh, here's the entertainment room. Lots of books and that piano for the weird one. Ooh, I got peaky around the corners mechanic -y. Okay, I guess I'm gonna have to search all the shelves. Uh, that sure is some weird out of place wallpaper. Crouch. Looking under the tables. Looking under everything. Give me this box. Put that box there. Oh, did you leave it in here? Uh oh. Mm. 
Self notes, write notes here. Okay. Wait a minute. Do I actually have to write my own notes here? Yeah. Oh no. I have to write my own notes here. I got a desk I usually use for writing notes, but was with the notebook. Okay. Crete. There's no reason these tripping hazards need to be on the floor. Just get those up and out of the way. Okay, looking for a note. Is it going to be a little bit piece of paper or is it going to be like scrawled on the fucking wall? Hmm. Hard to say. This is another free game. I don't think any of these are demos for anything. I think it's just like, hey, you wanna, you want, you wanna, wanna play my game I made? I'm not gonna put it on itch.io for some reason. Hey, okay. That's that's an unnecessarily long. Co <laughs> this is always in the same spot. Three. One, four, two, one, six, eight, nine, three. I always used to freak my mom out doing that. I could look at something and write it without looking at my hand. Oh, we do have a run. Three one four two one six eight nine three. Yeah, Master. Am I going to have to hide from Master? <laughs> Are you Master? Master Bader. Well, I got a key. What if I took this key? Okay, nope, can't take the key. That's still four shut. Did, was there anything locked in here? How, how did I not notice this box? Didn't matter that I didn't notice it. Okay, cool. Realizing right now that I did not search this room at all. Whew. Glitchy is an understatement. Okay, I guess I can only open three of the five drawers on this. Okay, nope, got that one. Okay. Yeah, that was completely pointless. Pointless drawers, pointless drawers. I hate... <laughs> Push button flush. I just wanted to be fancy. I just wanted to be fancy. Ah. Ah. Get out of here. Was there anything locked in here? <laughs> hey. Uh. Quick. Checking everything. I'm being thorough as fuck. Fuck. I don't think there was anything else locked in here. Ew. Ew. You are gross. You are gross and I hate you now. Ah, uh, there's another thing I didn't notice. Okay. Hey. Unlock the door with the key. Didn't even know this door was here. Okay. <laughs> so.
The door at the top of the stairs is locked. I keep going to find a way out. Good note. Good note. You know, I uh, I was thinking that. I think this book wants to, oh no, it's not a book. I don't think I'd want to lay with my head that close to a toilet. Control room. No handle. Okay. I legitimately thought there was going to be like a key or something underneath one of these. Um. Shit. These, uh. Obviously, like they're very, uh, like somebody somebody made these games. Like, might be their first game, or they've only made a handful of games prior. Uh, but definitely seems like somebody was testing out assets, testing out uh, environments, and maybe sounds. And we're like, yeah, I guess that's a game. Put it uh, put it on Steam for free. See if we can generate some interest. Like, it definitely feels like I'm playing somebody's uh, resume right now. Do I need to hide in here? I have a monster coming. Monster comes and says, oh, oh, yeah. And he opens the door. And then I go out the door he came in. And he's none the wiser. Stupid monster. Uh, uh. Okay, yep, mm hmm yeah, yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. This door? Oh yeah, it is this door. I think this is the part where I hide. I see a shadow. <laughs> That's a monster. Okay, so now what? How fast is this monster? How aware is this monster? Where's your cycle? Come on, monster. Come on, monster. Ugh. 
Oh shit. Oh fuck. <laughs> I did not think I was gonna get away. I'm going for it. Ah. Right back. Oh shit! <laughs> Silly me. I ran straight for him. I thought I was faster. I thought I was more clever. I didn't realize that the second I went under that door, it was going to open up and be like, yeah, come on, monster. What? But the monster is fairly oblivious, I will say. Like, if you're behind it, it, it does not see you. My eye's still a little messed up from noodles scratching me in the eyeball. This eye. And that's why, that's why I, I messed that last one up, you know. Did he walk by yet? Or she? They? There we go. Didn't I? Oh shit! <sighs> hmm. I can just hide here. I gotta admit, it's very creepy monster. Like Tim Burton's. <laughs> Tim Burton style, creepy. Oh shit. <laughs> Very Tim Burton style, creepy monster. Looks like something from The Nightmare Before Christmas. Actually, I kind of like this method, letting them walk by. We just need to let the monster walk farther away before we jump into their room and... What the... The fact that it jumps over the, the counter is pretty cool. Oh, he ripped the door off the locker? Okay, well. <laughs> I did not expect this. I was sitting here like, like oh, yeah, it's probably just somebody's fucking resume. That I'm playing. Yeah, it's a pretty good resume. Like, they got this monster. They got this monster working. Oh, wait. I want this one. This room worked pretty good for me. We can watch the monster walk by. He's on that side. We can sneak up, hit the lever. I think then what we'll need to do is get back in this room. Let the monster 
walked by again. Now, now, there he is. I will say we can run while crouched. So that's, that's good. Oh, I crouched. I did. <laughs> He didn't chase me down here once. Don't I have a health package somewhere? Okay, I, I got a decent amount of health. Okay. for in that room this monster's kicking my ass kicking my ass <laughs> when I'm playing games, I actually move my head to look. This would be pretty scary in VR. Okay. God, there's peaky around the corners. So this monster has a fairly unpredictable cycle. I was I was gonna try to I was gonna do something stupid there. I was gonna try to while it had its back turned, run past it and get into the room.
can't tell where it is. I think it's to my right. Where the hell is it? Okay, it's to the right. If you're looking for the key to open the lever cabinet in the control room, I simply left the key behind it for you. What? Should I be hitting that? this say please let someone fix those doors I know the main door down the slaves area is locked but in each individual cell door swing a phone and so there's no longer nowhere to stop the prisoners excuse me we're with all these useless boxes I had to bring up also one of the slaves downstairs was attempting to escape so he's been sent off with the rest the others idiot so what did that lever do Longer than I thought it would be. Mostly because I fucking sucked at that last bit. I really thought that was going to be the end. I really, really did. some like huge drums and heavy guitars kicking in like <laughs> old cellar ah oh, fuck what did I do <sighs> can I go back please thank you Whew. I thought I was fucked I'm like there's a whole bunch of shit I was supposed to explore over there I'm pretty sure whoa 44 minutes what is happening Door's locked. Key is needed. Oh my god. Uh, flashlight would be cool. There's part of me, there's a big, big part of me. Like, if there was no monsters or nothing around, you know, like, big, big part of me that would love to explore some shit like this. Um, when I was a kid in high school, there were catacombs underneath our school, and we found a way to get down in them. You had to crawl through vents to do it. 
but we figured it out, and it was pretty fucking creepy. Um, yes, well done, Albert. The key is here. However, you may soon realize that the door to the West Hall above this cellar will now be locked. Oh, no, boo-hoo. You must stay locked down here for three days after all you've designed the f- fracking. Is that what the monster is? The fracking? There's not much I'm going to need from you for a while. If you dare disobey, your family will be taken out of the East Prison Block and straight into the torture chamber. And and later, you'll be forced to use them as body parts for the creatures. Jesus Christ! Oh, and if you dare try to escape like last time and attempt uh, to contact authorities, I will instantly notice your absence. Then your family will be dead. I also don't appreciate your comment about the giant window in one of the testing room bedrooms. Yes, I watch them at night, but only so I can quickly check if they are up to no good. Perv. Do you have pants on when you watch them? I'm developing a new potion for you if you misbehave again. It will temporarily disable the right hemisphere of the brain. You will not remember any of your creatures. Temporarily, I may need you again. I will force you to go through the halls of this house having to deal with your own creatures that you designed yourself. I think that's what's happening to us right now. Although I don't currently have a reason to put you through this, don't give me one. After all, there is a curse in being a designer. The designer's curse. Oh, fuck. Okay, so blah, blah, blah. We're looking for a locked door directly above where we are right now. I see you. I see you waiting for me. Geronimo! Oh. Oh. I saw a glitch. I saw a glitch. I saw a glitch. <laughs> okay. I have a key. I have a key. Don't mess with me. I have a key. Did I ever tell you I was a songwriter? Yeah. All right, songs. Somebody's rocking on a piano right here. C O or zero. God damn it. It's always in the same spot. Always, always in the same spot. Okay. C O. And if we put it this way. Okay, C O. Got it. I thought it enough. Fuck I trash can! God damn it! Boxes out of the wall! Yeah, but trash can! Is he gonna move this painting? No, okay. <laughs> There's a girl on TikTok that looks kinda like that. Fucking adorable. <laughs> There's nothing in here. Well, I can I can see I can see that there's nothing in here. Oh, a beautiful view. Mm-hmm. Have you seen the girl on TikTok that looks like she wears little frog hats and <laughs> goes like that? I think she's fucking cute as a button. Pick up lantern, it can be turned on with F. 
And you can view oil level in inventory. A is one. Okay, so that is a zero. C is zero. A is one. Usually C would be three then, but whatever. Somebody is wailing on a piano. Is that a monster I made up from my family members? D is two. Zero two. I'm guessing. Ha ha ha! I'm amazing at games. The fuck was that? I'm like, can I throw my bed? a lot of reading okay I initially was puzzled by the hall outside this guest room being riddled with rocks and wondered how it could be that the West Hall is clearly above ground but this area on the same floor appears to be underground I was told this was due to the mansion being on a steep hill which makes sense I do not feel safe areas of the study are collapsing and filled with rocks and dirt from above how do I know this will not fall on me when I'm creating the creatures, or even worse, sleeping? I mean, would that be worse? This shit's gonna fall on you. It's, it's, a wor it's worse either way. Master will simply come find me and bring me to the torture rooms if I dare complain. I am terrified for my life and yawning. On the bright side, I've put together the new torture monster for Master last week, the Franken. So I was given a bed. She is perfect, perfectly capable of attacking due to the sharp blades in her left knuckles. Unlike the other creature, Spiky, who attacks the prisoners with teeth-like fingers. However, the woman who modeled the head of the fracken had her eye removed during torture. Therefore, she may have depth issues when attacking and will not be entirely accurate. I gave her the husband's strong legs, so she will be fast enough. Or fast, though. Do I find it messed up to be taking people's family members, in which my master has grudges against, and turning them into horrifying creatures? Yeah. Is it better than dying? I previously thought so, but now I feel I should end my life. As the fracking came into my room again last night, and I feel I have no reason to go on living. Uh, yeah, bro. Okay, which... Which door did we just walk in? Okay. <laughs> this guy's like, Oh, fuck! Some rocks just fucking fell on me! Oh! Okay. Okay. Well, uh, alright. So I guess this is just to kind of show us how close the falling rocks are to our fucking head when we're in bed. You heard what I said. 
This fills me with dread. Okay, here we go. Low waiting. <gasps> The screen is so dark. Who? Okay. Testing room fracking dispatched. Odor oil below. Apply to body and clothes. <sighs> and you'll not be noticed, remember. Remember when you forgot to put them here? Well, now I've returned the favor. Are you going to cope? Oh, no. P.S. The key for the cabinet is somewhere in the test hall. Sorry, not sorry. All right. Let's fucking do this. Will they see my light? Did I just make it without getting monstered? There's the big window he was talking about being all creepy and shit. Oh, I got full health. What's this? Oh, my lantern oil. I kind of need that. Why do you need a big window when you have a camera? Huh? Huh? Whacking your wiener. What's this for? <laughs> what was the joke? What were you laughing at? <laughs> I'm, I'm already laughing. Just go ahead and tell me. What's so funny? from here I haven't written shit in my notes oh are you liking that big gap <laughs> Notice this door here. Was, was it there? Somebody rewind and look at that. Was it there? Whew. Well, I 
Let's see. Oh, fish. I like there's one guy that did the climbing ladder sound. This is a pretty good game. I'm going to let the credits run for sure. Oh. You're welcome. Thank you for making the game. That was that was actually awesome. Uh, oh. Okay. Hang on, let me get out of here. That was a lot better than I thought it was going to be. Wow, I kind of feel like a, a total dick for saying that. Oh, man, my shoulders are almost perfect. Um, <laughs> it was great. When I when I first started playing, I thought it was just going to be some kind of like, oh, it's fucking, we're going to test out some shit, and well, whatever, throw it on Steam. But no, it's actually really great. So uh, I'm going to be uh, keeping an eye on that developer to see if that game uh, comes out with anything else, and I hope you do too. So uh, thank you, everybody, for watching. I hope you enjoyed that as much as I did. And on that note, I'll see you in the next video. Bye.